Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with another Evangelion movie. This is the Rebuild series movie number two and this is called You Cannot Advance. Now the first movie uh, was kind of like the most of the, more, not most, but 90% of the movie was flashbacks. There were not, yeah, two different things that happened. The number one difference was that uh, Misato kind of revealed the uh, existence of the Lilith to Shinji and that also means that she also knew about it which is quite different from the anime because in the anime Kaji kind of like you know showed it to Misato so that's the biggest difference which I'm sure will have uh, like, you know will change the story afterwards and another not as per se it's a difference but like we've got an extra scene in the end where we see Kaoru like those two were the only difference um, that we saw uh, comparing it to the anime and otherwise like the animations were amazing and it was nice to see like you know um, what can I say like Evangelion the anime is quite old so like you know it's nice to see with updated graphics and all so that and what else yeah that was it that was basically it. nothing much to talk about so let's see what this uh, movie uh, brings uh, I'm sure we'll get some changes because you know I've heard that uh, the story is different so I'm sure like we'll get some changes in this movie so yeah let's see like how the story actually changes from the anime so without further ado let's get started with Evangelion uh, the rebuild series movie number two you cannot advance so I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started Okay, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Wait, is it in English? Am I watching the correct? I think so, because... Okay, okay. Japanese, please. <laughs> hmm. Okay. What, what is this place? New black suit. Oh, this is Kaji's voice, isn't it? Wait, who is this? This is not Asuka. I thought it was Shinji at the beginning, so... What? Oh my god, this is something completely new. Oh! Acheron? Wait, wait, wait. At first I thought this was Shinji, like, this is not Shinji, this is a girl's voice. Yo, what is happening? What is this? What is this weird centipede or whatever? 
Unit 5. Oh, damn. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Damn. Okay. Wait, is this? Yeah, this is an angel, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. What? Wait, is this Asuka? Like... No, no, I don't think this is Asuka. Like, first of all, her voice does not sound like Asuka. And her personality as well. Damn. Okay. She, she got the core. Okay, there you go. Wow. Damn, the whole place. Okay. It, it said it evacuated, so the girl is okay, I guess. Oh, there you go. That's the uh, uh, the thing, cylinder. Who is this? Is this is this Misato? She looks. No, this is not Misato. She looks a lot like Misato. What? Like, it's a completely new character. I mean, she was not in the anime, was she? Oh, damn. It's that scene when Shinji visits the grave with his dad. Appearance. Hmm. Hmm. I'm quite curious, who is this sensei that he always talks about? Okay, and a day is in sight, I'm guessing, just like in the anime. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Hmm. <laughs> Wait a minute, Asuka has not been introduced still. In the anime this happened when Asuka was introduced, after Asuka was introduced, wasn't, didn't it? Okay, things are getting different and like Kaji was in this, like 
Asuka was supposed to be with Kaji, wasn't she? Like, she was under Kaji's command. But there's this new girl now. Hmm. <laughs> that he cannot be. There you go. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> oh, what the? Wait, what? What's happening? Oh. Oh, there's an angel. Angel, isn't it? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at the face. It's like a clock. Oh my god. Okay, damn. Well. Okay. Seventh angel. Hmm. Task is it, what? Oh, is Asuka going to be introduced now? I think so. Yeah. Ha! <laughs> Damn! Woo! <laughs> Look at those moves in mid air. <laughs> okay. Damn. Oh, God. She got it. One single shot. Wow. <laughs> oh, that. Oh, okay. Oh, never mind. <laughs> what? That's a weird angel. Okay. And there you go. There's that kick. Oh! Wow. Wow. Okay. Damn, that was quick and easy. Whoa. Oh my god! Calm down! Oh. oh! Wait, who is this? What is happening here? <laughs> oh my god. Transported via route. Sagami. There you go. There she is. Yeah. So, does Asuka not know? Um, oh, okay, damn. Um, okay, as always, she is. Okay, there you go. This Kaji.
Hmm. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, so Kaji is here. Oh, is he? Adam, I guess. Wait. Oh, yeah, there you go. It. Oh, it looks quite different. In key of what? Okay, a lot of things are changing. Where's Misato? <laughs> yeah. Misato's here, I'm guessing. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. So Asuka is still under his command. Who was that lady before? Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, she is. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that catchphrase. <laughs> oh, Shinchan. I think who's Shinchan? <laughs> Okay. Oh, this is island. Oh. <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> pin pin. Oh my god, the same scene where like Shinji was there you go. <laughs> Before it was Shinji and now. <laughs> oh my god, the censorship. Pen is drinking beer, what? <laughs> Using a straw. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> oh, wow.
Okay, well, the whole thing with her mom, I'm guessing. <sighs> Damn. Who is it called? Oh, okay. Wow. Wait, who is this? Oh, this is the person from the um who is always with uh, the you know like the staff members in Nerve. Hmm. And Aska is going to transfer in. I'm guessing. Okay, yeah, there she is. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait a minute, why is Asuka not obsessing over Kaji as she did in the anime? Like I thought, like, she said that I'll pass then, like, what? Anything beyond unit 5, there you go. Hmm. This is the same place where uh, Kaoru was, wasn't it? Oh, there you go. Damn. Nope. <laughs> wow. Okay. Damn. Huh. Okay. Oh, they're... <laughs> Decontamination. Damn, like... They have to do this. <laughs> Wow! Damn! <laughs> okay. Wow. Pin Pin is also here, I noticed that. Yes. <laughs> Look at him! <laughs> pen pen found his friends after so long Hmm. 
Damn. Okay, well. <coughs> it's surprisingly good. <laughs> I don't cook. Okay, that's very yeah. Um. Pen pen is having like. Oh. <laughs> okay. Wait, he's taking it. He's going to eat it. <laughs> ben Ben wants it. <laughs> Okay, that's funny. Uh. Okay, don't. F okay, yeah. I was thinking it's just gonna drop it or something. Hmm. Green tea. Whoa. What kinds of original sin that no man? <laughs> Isn't the eye well whoa? Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, salty and, and fishy. Oh, wow, that's mm. yeah. Oh, no, <laughs> yeah. Fast. Oh yeah, that's like an impact as well. Damn. That's a longiness, lots of long. This is her past, isn't it? That they're showing. Yeah, that must be her dad beside her. Yeah, there you go. Oh my god. Mm -mm. But there was, mm, yeah, like it's really like, like we can kind of see now how like Misato and Shinji are kind of so same. Like who knows if Gendo dies, maybe Shinji will also become like Misato. I'm just saying, you know. Yeah, like I'm just thinking like if Gendo also somehow like saves Shinji and dies in that process, maybe Shinji will become like Misato. Damn.
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because you have that <clears throat> thing underneath, Lilith. Hmm. Okay, well. Damn. Whoa! Okay, time to... Time to deploy the Evangelions. <clears throat> okay they'll probably Yes. <laughs> yeah. Grudge, whoa. There you go. This is kind of happening like what it happened in the anime. Just like. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, true. <laughs> wow. I don't think so, <laughs> Asuka. <laughs> yeah, you need other people to kind of... No, you just want... Like, he's, she's a single person. Like, you know? Yeah, so like, she can only do one thing. Like, that's the point of it. Okay, one thing I'm noticing now, the Evangelion's designs are quite different, aren't they? From the anime. Yeah, yeah. Or am I mistaken? Mm, there you go. She's, he's, remember, there you go. It's, it's kind of like, you know, connecting the dots now. Okay, let's run. Okay, there you go. Run. And this, this also happened in the anime, I can remember. 
you know they go and kind of stop it and then i think it was asuka wasn't it who kind of pried open the at field and destroyed the angel damn whoa the animation oh, wow this is amazing looking at it in like uh widescreen you know like it's like a different experience revised to 205 yeah oh damn damn damn, damn. <laughs> okay that's that's amazing Okay, whoa! Whoa! Damn, look at the Naruto run! <laughs> I know, like, you know why people run like that? Because to, I think, reduce the air resistance or something? Like, you know, putting your hand behind and running like that? Okay, there you go, wow! Okay, well, I don't think we need anything to worry because the anime, in the anime, like, you know, they stopped it. So, yeah, there you go. Okay, there you go. Where's Asuka? Okay. Oh my god. Where is Asuka? She needs to kind of, you know, destroy it. Oh my god! <laughs> that is what... Okay, yeah, there you go. Oh no, it, it came off! Oh damn. Okay. Yeah, she cannot find the core. Where is the core? Okay, there it is. Oh no. Uh, Ray got it. Okay. Yeah, destroy it. Okay. There you go. Well, that's the end. Wow. Okay, damn. One thing I've never thought about. Oh, this is what happens when, like, the, with the dead body of the angels. Like, it becomes like this kind of fluid. Wow. Oh my god. The whole place is getting. Damn. Okay, oh, barely in time. Is your result? If I won extensive damage, if I was zero moderate damage, minor minor damage. Hmm. Unit one. Oh, he's going to. Yeah, there you go. <clears throat> oh. 
Oh no, Asuka is... Yeah. Hmm. Oh, this happened in the anime as well, yeah. Oh, she, she... In the anime, she was asleep, kind of. No. <laughs> Daddy spoil. For his dad's sake. <laughs> but at the same time, it's also kind of for his own sake, you know? Yeah, there you go. Like, technically, it's for his own. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well. Okay, two things are as the anime. <laughs> okay, wow. Well. <laughs> wow. Oh, there, there's a uh, class rep. <laughs> I'm not sharing my lunch with you. <laughs> oh, Hikari, okay. Uh... Damn, Shinji, like... <laughs> okay. Full of obligations. <laughs> Okay. Hmm. 
Oh, this is the... No. Oh yeah, I see it's going, yeah. Wow, what a huge table. Like, uh, uh. <clears throat> oh, okay. Hmm. Wow. Okay, that was unexpected. <laughs> As always. <laughs> She's mock. <laughs> Yeah, Shinji is the winner. Shinji scores the most, didn't he? Oh, is that okay? Egos of each country. Oh. Europe and Russia are involving Asia and the. Oh, okay, so Unit 5 was from. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Whoa! What? It's that girl, isn't it? From the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this? Maria, her name is. What the? Oh, what? Oh. Uh, okay. Whoa, that was. <clears throat> What happened? Did it did break or something? <laughs> 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 mm. 
No. Kaji and his farming. <laughs> wow. Hmm, yeah. Okay, <laughs> cute. No. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What the? Okay, well, a lot of things are changing slowly, slowly, you know? The whole Mari girl, uh, her kind of infiltrating. Oh, yeah, wow. Ha! Oh, she was cooking or something? Yeah, she must be cooking. Hmm. Yeah. Dr. Akari. Ask <laughs> She threw it away. Okay, yeah, there you go. <laughs> wow, like it's really nice to see Ray kind of like you know taking initiatives, but this is completely different from the anime. Like, you know, like she is doing stuff for him herself, like in her <laughs> using her own, um, what can I say. Like taking her own decision. Whoa. Okay. There we go again. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, this also happened. Okay.
Unit four was transferred. So it's in. Mm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, is this unit? F <laughs> oh this is is that going to happen again the whole doji's thing oh yeah 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 that's going to happen Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, that's going to happen. Now, I'm quite curious. Is something going to change or is the same thing going to happen again? Yeah, Toji knows. But Mari, I think her name was Mari. Mari is here, so something different might happen. I, I'm not sure. more money okay well <clears throat> mm, damn Hasten the awakening. Okay, well. Sealed. Oh. E okay, wow. Damn, so Asuka's been. Like, oh, great, during the pilots. Oh, Ayanami must be here, or, or maybe not. Okay, no. Oh yeah, there, there she is.
Mm. Wow, both their hands. Well, well. Oh, she also sent an invitation to him. Mm, I hope so. Like, oh, the dummy. Oh my God. Okay. Huh. <laughs> 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 mm. Well, Yeah. Okay, what now? Oh my god, the day end of the meal. They were they going to have it, I think. Yeah. Okay, wow. This is bad, I guess. <sighs> what?
Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute, was she? Wait, what happened here? Oh no! Wait a minute! Wait, what will happen to Unit 2 then? And what will happen to to Toji? Wait, something different is happening here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh no. Wait, wait a minute. Uh, okay, something different might happen here because you know, Toji was inexperienced. So, so that's why, like, he was an, unable to control it properly. Or maybe not, I don't know. Yeah. Oh no, I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Wait a minute, what's happening here? Like, why did they suddenly select Asuka? Like, she already has her Evangelion, so why? Oh no, I think something's going to happen here. Oh yeah, there you go. Wait, wait, wait. What the hell? Oh no, it's going berserk. Okay. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no.
Oh no. Well, one thing like Shinji is not in unit one. Oh no no she he is in there. Yeah, he's like he he's going to insert the dummy plug now. Oh god. Yeah, the same thing is happening. Oh great, like this was bad enough in the anime, now it's even worse. Like you know the... What's happening? Oh god. Yeah, he knows. <laughs> in when this happened in the anime, he did not know that Toji was in it. We found it later on. Now, I'm, now the question is, what will he do now? Now that he knows. Oh damn. Yeah. Oh God. Come on. Like, okay. Like, I really hope that they do not have to use the dummy plug again. Like, oh my God. Like in the anime, like, you know, where they were forced to use the dummy plug. Oh no, yeah. Come on. Shinji, like, this is the same kind of mistake that he did in the anime. Oh, like, using the dummy plug will even be worse. Oh no. Oh no. I hoped he could have took a different decision here, but it's the same. This is bad. Oh, damn. Oh, this is how the dummy system works then. We didn't see it in the anime. Oh no. Oh no, yep.
Oh god. Oh god. Well, like, this was... God damn. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Well, we know in the anime Toji was saved. I'm guessing I, Asuka will also be saved. Okay, come on. Yeah, she's... Oh no, that's Misato. Yeah. Um. She's alive, isn't she? Oh, damn. Oh, damn, he's up on top. I did not notice that. Mm. Oh, good. Oh, my God, this is that. Oh, so well, that's his dad.
Oke, okay. oh god. Oke, okay. oh my god, oke, okay, see the light. Bro, wow. Oh, bisa tuh. Ya. <sighs> oh wait he left really like okay in the anime this did not happen he was stopped before oh there you go i was saying Okay, the oh lord. Okay, well. Uh, in the anime this time Kaji was there too. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Oh damn, Kaoru's also. Like in the anime, Kachi was the one who kind of brought Shinji back. 
So I'm curious what's going to happen here. Whoa. Unit two. Yeah. Oh, did Mari get in or something? Was that what we were seeing? God damn. She wants to fight. Who? Yeah, there you go. I was thinking. Wait, they knew about Mari? Then why were they not mentioning her? Damn. Oh, damn. Wow. Oh, AD field again. Damn. Oh, God. Well, there you go. That's what happened before as well. What? Damn, what? Whoa, this girl has some extra powers or something. This is Asuka's Evangelion, isn't it? Yeah, so every Evangelion has this mode, I'm guessing. I was thinking, like, okay. Yeah. Damn, this girl is. Negative. Whoa. Damn. Oh, God. Wow. Yeah, this is literally the beast.
Yo. Okay, well. Okay. Damn. Okay. Oh my god. Damn, this is also not enough. Okay, yeah. Oh no, yeah, this end to missile. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay, she's she's helping. Damn. Okay. Oh no! But uh... oh my. Oh no, the angel is a oh, great. No, now what? Oh god. Yep. Yeah, this is what happens. Before it was. Yeah, before it was Asuka, but now this is. <laughs> oh god What? Oh, God. Oh, 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 my God, what the? Okay, thank God it's the the, the plug or wait. Oh no! Where is Ray? Oh no!
Damn, whoa. Oh, this is the watermelon melon farm. No, it's not accepting the dummy plug. There's like, I'm going to talk about this whole thing with Gendo's like miscalculation here. Like this also happened in the anime, like the same thing, like Gendo's biggest mistake. Oh god. Okay. Oh. Damn. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Okay, there's a the code. Oh no, the time. Oh. Oh no, it can, like, oh my god. It will transform, won't it? Like, just, oh my god. Like, you know, when, like, yeah, there you go. Yeah, like this is how like it awakens. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, there you go. Damn, like so many 80 fields at the same time, just like, you know? Oh, there it is. One eighty. Whoa. Okay, there you go. Come on, quick. Yeah, do it for yourself. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Oh. 
Oh no. What is happening? Original form. It's doing that to grant her. Okay. Okay, there she is. Okay, there you go. Okay, now grab. Yeah, grab. Oh god. Oh god. Come on. Yeah, yeah, just just like Okay, there you go. Oof. Oh wow. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Hmm. Just a little more until the... Wow. Wait. Oh, the Lilith. Elimination of the old life. Oh no. Oh no. What? Wait, is that the end?
Whoa, what was that? Damn, so... So the third impact happens. Damn. So, oh, like in the end, what happened? Uh, I enemy fused with unit one. Was that what happened? Okay. Wow, that was something. A lot of things completely went in a different direction and now the third like movie will be completely different i can understand this now like how this went as, as i said the first movie was more or less the same but two like major differences were there this movie kind of went in a different direction from the middle of it and like you know but there are still like same things that happened in the anime but a lot of things were different at the same time and now that the third impact is going to happen the next movie will be something completely new that means like because in the anime the third impact never happened and asuka is completely like damn like whoa <sighs> so like what's going to happen to today i'm sure we'll get our answer in the next episode uh next movie damn one thing that i really loved about this movie is the anime one thing that the anime did not do was character development of Ayanami Day. That never happened. There was small bits and portion with her, but she was just there. Like, you know? And, but this movie really gave her a character. Her character really developed into something. And that's what I really am, what can I say, appreciative of, of this movie. And, and another thing that happened which i think is going to probably affect the next movie is asuka's absence i'm not even sure what's going to happen now like you know what will like will everyone survive how will they even survive like the third impact is happening in front of them and what will happen to shinji and Ayanam? that means you know Whoa. It's a nice song, I have to say. Okay, well, and okay, uh, what else? Um, this movie did okay. One thing that I wanted to talk about is this also happened in the anime where, like, Gendo kind of says that okay, like, insubordination, this, 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 and that, um, you know, you are like, what's your response? Shinji says, I don't want to get into Evangel Evangelion. You know, says okay, then go away. Like you know, everything will be will be stripped of all the, uh, you know, like all your um, all the facilities that you got and everything, and you won't return here. And Shinji goes away, and he says that like okay, like yeah, like the dummy plug will be enough. And then, when problem strikes, when the whole thing happens, when like you know the um what do you call it uh, the angel attacks uh okay let's just wait
Okay, we have something. Wait, 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 wait. Oh! Kauru! Oh my god! That's the end? Wait a minute! <laughs> oh, just a sec! I was talking about how the third impact is going to happen. Like, you know, how will they survive? What will happen? You know, and then we see the ending scene where Kaoru just uses a lance of longiness and pierces, uh, like, you know, uh, unit one. And Kaoru comes in. And that's how the impact does not happen. <laughs> okay, like, I should have waited for the end before talking. So, like, you know, so, okay, like, alright, like, hopefully no one will die, I'm guessing, after this. Like, I was thinking maybe, like, you know, people are going to die, like, bad things are going to happen in the next movie. But something else might happen, I'm not sure. And Kaoru, another thing that Kaoru says, it's quite, um, you know, like, I'm curious about it. He says that, I'll make you happy this time. This time. Alright, now, I know one thing, that... Evangeline is a story of like which kind of happens in a lot of parallel universes, parallel worlds. Like what is it called? Multiverse story or something? Is, is that the term they use for it? So is that the reason why Kaoru says that this time? Because like uh, you know the, what happened in the anime, technically Kaoru was unable to help him um shinji but like he says that this time i don't know i might be like completely off the mark but you know uh but i kind of like you know think that this is like like i'm sure like this is a multiverse story because i have seen a lot of variation like i think that manga also has a different variation um like you know the anime has a different variation two types of like you know ending and then this like movie is going in a completely di different direction and I think there's there are two visual novels as well, which also kind of end in a completely different way. So this kind of shows that it's like a lot of things are happening in a lot of parallel worlds. And these are like all, um, what do you call it, um, possibilities of a, like, of, you know, of a branch in the world, uh, like, what do you call it, timelines or whatever you call it, world lines. Now, anyways, uh, like I'll... We'll talk about that later on but what i was saying uh, uh i was talking about gendo yeah like gendo says that uh, like you know like uh, oh you like you know you you've done all these things don't need to be here anymore shinji says i'll go away and gendo th thinks that okay like we have the dummy plug mm, we won't have any problem and this is where i think he makes a big what can i say mistake now <clears throat> Shinji did a build mis like Shinji's mistake is there like Shinji did the biggest blunder in my opinion here is where he like but obviously like he had no way to know that the dummy plug will kind of become like you know like this it will kind of make the whole Evangelion berserk like he knew uh, he did not know that so like but still like you know like I kind of said this while watching the anime as well like in my opinion if Shinji but in the anime it was Toji and in the, in this like movie we have Asuka in that same position. So like my opinion was that if Shinji decided to like you know like he was scared that he had to kill you know the other pa person and he did not want to do that. And that's why he said that okay like I won't do it. Like you know I won't don't want my hand to get dirty. And like you know that's basically it like fear of getting their own hand dirty. Like that's the biggest fear. Like, I don't want to, like, you know, take decisions which might kind of endanger someone else's life. But sometimes I think you need to take that decision. Because if he took that decision in this movie and even in the anime, like, you know, as I said, like, I'm not sure whether he would be able to win the battle or not. But somehow if he was able to win the battle, I'm sure, like, you know, he could have extracted the blood out, you know and you know safely evacuated the person in there like like you don't have to kill the person like that's what happened but the dummy plug kind of made the situation worse 
dummy plug completely went haywire and um, like you know it took the uh, cylinder out where the pilot is and crushed it so like in my opinion if Shinji was the one to do that he wouldn't have crushed it he could have like you know kind of kept it aside and destroyed the Evangelion and like you know uh, they could have safely extracted uh, the pilot the mental pressure would have been immense for, for the pilot you know because obviously like he's killing the Evangelion uh, which kind of is like somehow connected to your nerves and all you know like mentally connected and it kind of like puts a big mental pressure on you like that is inevitable in any case like you know the huge mental stress that Asuka and Toji went through that's inevitable but at least their you know like physical body could have been unharmed not unharmed but could have been lesser harmed than like what happened with the dummy plug like the dummy plug kind of harmed their physical body as well in a way so I don't know like like this was what I was thinking like it might be some, something completely different as well I'm not sure but anyways like because he was unable to take that decision um you know like uh like I don't blame Shinji in this like you know because like taking that decision is tough you know taking the decision of like okay I will defeat my friend who might die in that process so that I can save the entire world like that's a huge decision for a teenager to take <laughs> uh, like like whatever you say that's a huge decision but anyways like again those uh, like mistake here was like he like you know he relied too much on the dummy plug he thought that okay the dummy plug is with me everything will be fine but in the end like the dummy plug doesn't work and uh, like Gendo also kind of says that why are you not accepting me Yui and you know like and then Shinji comes in and Shinji like enters the Evangelion and everything happens so yeah like that was like Gendo's biggest mistake in my opinion he thought that everything will be fine like you know like and another thing that Ray kind of said to Gendo like you know like uh, not no Ray did not say anything but uh, Gendo kind of realized while having a meal with Rei like when like she kind of he kind of like you know sees a uh, Yui in Rei and uh, like remembers her words that take care of Shinji and he kind of hesitates at that like that kind of shows that how he like you know like forgot the main you know like thing that she should not have forgotten that Shinji is his son like amidst all this chaos that kind of went out of his mind he treated Shinji just like a soldier you know just like a subordinate he has he never like kind of you know sat and thought that maybe what I am doing is something that I should not do as a father to a son and like you know like that's like like what can I say like um he went too much into this like you know he, he devoted his life too much into this whole mess that's why like he was kind of forgot that that Shinji is his child and you know like maybe maybe it's not what can I say maybe it's not uh, something that I should do as a parent to force Shinji into the Evangelion and make him fight in these life and death situations now I'm sure like if he talked like you know sat down talked with Shinji and explained his situation and said that like you know like you have to get in there's no other choice you have to get in and you know like I would really appreciate it if you get in help me and we need you if he said something like this to Shinji I'm not sure but I at least hope and I, I, I think that Shinji would have helped him because the only thing that Shinji needed was his what do you call it um, for him to accept him you know, for Gendo to accept Shinji like that's the only thing that Shinji wanted like forever like he only wanted some kind of uh, acceptance from his dad 
which he never got and i don't know like you know like gendo kind of like became this type of a like you know person only doing stuff for uh, the greater good as he said like you know he kind of like says a word which i find it extremely intriguing where he tells shinji that like small little sacrifices must be made in order uh, like you know for the main goal to come into fruition the small little sacrifice that he made here is actually shinji you know like that's it like when like he tells shinji that you need to make small little sacrifices for like shinji that small little sacrifice would be asuka and like that's what he was trying to tell shinji and i'm sure like he himself realizes that he the small little sacrifices that gendo made is shinji you know like the main one is shinji like small sacrifice that he made for the greater you know um goal uh, I, anyways like <laughs> like there's a lot of thing to talk about here like the whole um like you know thing with gendo shinji their like inner psyche what they're thinking like shinji wanting confirmation from his father his father doing his own thing and he like uh like you know he thinks that it's natural like you know you should like do this because uh like we have a bigger goal and like kind of like as he said like making small little sacrifices for that and like all of these things like like shinji and gendo are like two different types of completely like different types of character in way of personality in the thought process and everything like you know shinji the way he thinks that i should uh like you know like he does not want to kind of do like these type of heavy things like you know uh for example hurting azuka just so that like he can save the world or something and at the same time like gendo kind of completely opposite he thinks that yeah you should definitely do it if it's for the greater good like i cannot say who is wrong and who is right there's no correct answer here you know like in a way like if you have to click you know it's, it's logically thinking like if there's a condition where you have to kill a single person maybe maybe that's your best friend or something you know like kill that person so that you can save the world obviously logically speaking the correct answer is killing that friend because it's like one like single life on a scale of a millions of lives but at the same time you know like like it's really what can i say like morally in like bad to kind of choose that friend to kill that friend but at the same time i don't know like you know like there's this whole thing like this is basically that like you know shinji like on on one of the scale and gendo on another scale and them having completely different point of views and there's no correct answer here like this is a really weird type of a situation where you have to kill one to save all of them and something like that there's no correct answer to that but you know anyways and yeah like uh, another thing I, I kind of said this before the thing i loved the most in this movie was um ayanami Ray's character character development i loved it that was something that I wish the anime did but I'm, I'm sure like the anime did not have like any kind of things like that but this movie kind of introduced this thing like in the anime Ray was this kind of like a person you know like always stoic uh, quiet and like there was a little bit of character development in the beginning where like Shinji helps her out she kind of smiles and I think like like that was basically it in the anime anime Ray was basically that nothing else and after that the whole like you know focus kind of shift to asuka and shinji like it's like you know the anime kind of feels like they completely forgot about ayanami in the from the middle part of it like she was just there f just for the sake of it and in the end ayanami gets a major role but that's something completely different like that's not character development that's just like you know a plot point a plot device but this movie kind of uh gives like you know fleshes out ayanami's character how she try, tries to change and how she thinks that like you know like i can probably say help shinji shinji and this also shows us how her feelings change towards shinji as to like you know before like he like she thought nothing about it and after like shinji saves her 
like by the end of it she kind of her thought process changes and she becomes like you know a person who tries to help shinji in different ways in the anime this was kind of abrupt you know like in like i'm going to talk about the difference in the anime in the anime what happens is like you know at the beginning like he was like always like whatever the commander tells me to do i'll do it whatever gendo tells me to do i'll do it anime day was basically that and after shinji helps her like you know she kind of becomes favorable towards him that's it and then in the end almost like in the last episode we see her suddenly like not betraying as per se but choosing shinji instead of you know shinji's dad gendo and making like putting shinji in that throne where gendo like you know where where like gendo had planned to sit and like by the end of it shinji got the full privilege of choosing what type of world he wants to be in you know and what he wants like that was like 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 she basically gave shinji the administrator's right you know the commander's right and she she basically she was like the person who transferred the leadership from gendo to shinji because like you know she uh like her favorable like she became more favorable towards shinji and his cause like that was in the anime in this movie we kind of see how that process happens how that changes in this uh in the last scene where like you know uh, shinji goes and helps ayanami ayanami says that uh, oh no no not that before that like you know when like uh, she takes the n2 bomb that was the n2 bomb wasn't it and smashes it into the um, angel she says that i'll stop this whole like you know uh, like angel business so that Sh shinji does not have to do this like this kind of shows how like she becomes how much of like you know favorability shinji gains uh, in the heart of rei uh, ayanami rei and you know how uh, the impressions change about him and like this this really shows us that because like it shows us that it's not basically like her only thinking about like yeah i have this order like you know i i am born for this i should do this and that's basically it no she starts thinking for herself the first indication is when she talks with gendo and says that why don't you have a meal with us shinji will also be there that's that's just something that she did for shinji's sake you know like it's not something that he did on or she did uh, on orders it's not some something that did she did for herself nor for gendo it was for shinji and like that shows us how like you know her feelings change for it and then like in the end as i kind of explained that she uh, like she like you know makes food and all and then she thinks that like i should stop this like you know whole nonsense so that shinji won't have to pilot the vangelian again that was also for shinji's sake so like the process is shown here very like you know um step by step whereas in the anime as i explained it was kind of abrupt like it it kind of showed us that she became a lot more affectionate towards shinji but it was like there was like a big jump where we like that was it in the eighth or some, something eighth or seventh episode that happened the uh, you know like ray smiles and then the focus jumps to asuka and then in the end we suddenly see like ray kind of like you know thinking about shinji and decides to choose shinji instead of kento like it was like an abrupt jump but this really like fleshes out anime's character and i think the anime because it did that like anime's uh character is not so fleshed out in the anime because it's kind of like you know everything happens abruptly but i'm glad and in a way that kind of like gives asuka a lot less character development than in the anime than the anime gave there was a character development for asuka but most of the things are not explained another thing that i kind of uh, like noticed i like ray is uh, not ray sorry asuka is not like you know kind of head over heels for kaji this in this movie like she barely interacted with him i don't know why that was maybe because like kaji was not like you know she was not under kaji so like i'm guessing something different must have happened was didn't it like i don't get it like something different must have happened there like and then there's like another thing in the opening like scene where we see like mari like her kind of you know destroying that angel and we also see kaji that was kaji wasn't it like where he says that 
like you know now i'm curious here like did kaji like you know like mari was in as she said like um what was that europe and russia or something i'm not, not quite sure like uh, under their command so like was kaji working for them before and then like he kind of gets like back to japan so like was mari under kaji then instead of asuka i think so yeah maybe that was basically it because in the anime as we see like uh, asuka was in germany wasn't she like she, yeah and like kaji like asuka was under kaji's command so like because asuka is not under kaji's command in this movie i'm guessing mari was under kaji's command in this movie i'm not quite sure but something might, like that must have happened like that's another like big difference in this movie and there were a lot of other like you know small little differences another major difference is like toji nothing happens to toji here like, you know her sister is all well and good now and her sister gets i think in the anime her sister's condition gets worse so that's why like she he decides to like you know kind of do this so that his sister can get better medication and uh, so in this movie nothing so, that sort of thing happened so like toji did not no, need to become the um third third child yeah and asuka like you know took over and you know small little things uh apart from that also happens we get more like you know uh ray uh oh like they also uh, like kind of uh explored that portion uh that was in like you know kaji like kind of guides them in that w what was that place called i can't remember where they can like you know kind of go for a tour and they like have this kind of like a little picnic and everything and yeah and then also like you know like we barely get to know anything about asuka's uh, backstory that's also another difference here like you know like she has a, this doll with her i'm not quite sure what that in implies but maybe that something different happened in her past here because <clears throat> that doll was supposed to be with her mom wasn't it like you know her mom thought that do the doll was asuka so why is it with asuka now like and what happened to her mom like there's a lot of questions that like are not answered here <coughs> you know and but asuka's uh, personality is basically the same uh, a little bit of difference in asuka's personality we kind of saw in the end where asuka kind of thinks that yeah maybe it is okay for me to talk with others to have fun with others to become like you know like kind of you know be happy and she kind of like thanks ray as well because of that and ray also kind of, uh, like you know kind of like thanks her back before that and like that's another big bigger like you know biggest change here and that really shows like you know how like maybe like maybe if the whole incident did not happen of like unit 3 uh, completely transforming into this angel maybe there would have been a different outcome you know like if this thing never happened maybe asuka shinji and rei could have become good friends that could have happened but unfortunately like again like something like this happens and everything goes down the drain and another difference i kind of noticed shinji gets mad at the whole thing and <laughs> climbs on top of the the pyramid and starts stomping on it that did not happen in the anime did it I don't think so yeah i can't remember even if it happened no i don't think that happened so yeah and you know and then uh, like another bigger thing happens later on is like mari's like you know mari kind of yeah now i'm another thing i'm curious of, a lot of things like you know uh like, i'm curious about did they know that mari was inside like that um unit two like, you know, it was, it was as if they like they were talking with each other, Misato, Risco, and it seemed as if they knew who the act, who the person was inside Unit Two. You know, so does that mean that Mari, like they knew about Mari's existence? That must be it, because like otherwise, why would she suddenly get into the Evangelion and like started piloting it? That must be it. And 
you know and then another difference like by the end of it everything was completely different and then like you know shinji kind of goes in and saves rei you know and kind of like you know takes her back like snatches her out of the like of the fusion and they were kind of fusing together i'm guessing the vangelion and rei and the third impact was probably going to happen but kaoru comes in from the moon that was the moon wasn't it <laughs> comes in from the moon and pierces him so when he says that this time i'll save you now there's a big question here like what do you mean by this time so that really means that this is some kind of a multiverse you know parallel world story isn't it like a lot of things are happening in different worlds i'm guessing or maybe not who knows like there might be some other explanation which i'm sure we'll get in the next episode that was good i have to say like it's like a completely different story and like uh, something completely different is happening even though there were a few things that were similar to the anime the ending and f you know was completely different and i'm sure the next movie will be something that we have never seen before because like kaoru comes in and i'm not even sure what's going to happen now like you know so i'm looking forward to that so yeah guys that was it that was this movie this was evangelion uh 2.0 you cannot advance uh this is movie 2 from the rebuilt series and yeah so next week obviously i'm going to do the next part of the movie and that would probably be the end like the last part of the movie has not like come out so when it comes out i'll do it you know uh, uh like you know when it comes out digitally and yeah okay so one thing i want to mention to you guys like evangeline is going to end here obviously like today i did two next week i'll do three and then af from the week after that you know like no more evangelion stuff uh left for me to like you know react to so obviously i'm going to start a new show i'm going to replace this now i'm not sure if you guys uh know or if you guys have participated in it but i did a poll in my channel quite a while ago before i started evangelion and i kind of said that i'll do whichever anime gets the highest support now the thing that happened was um i think three uh three three series got the maximum votes like they were kind of like you know equal no not three two two uh, like two uh, animes got the maximum vote one was evangelion and it had like almost 10 votes or something i can't remember or five votes i cannot remember but anyways uh and there was like avatar which also had the similar amount of votes now i decided to do evangelion before because evangelion is shorter than avatar so that's why like if i started with evangelion now from next the week after the next week uh, i'll start avatar okay like i'll do two episodes a week just like um, evangelion i did with evangelion two episodes a week same day that is today i'll be uploading the videos so yeah if guys are interested definitely check them out so yeah guys um thank you guys for watching and uh like i'm waiting for the th after the third movie i'll like i'll check out I, like i'm really curious to check out the visual novel like like I, I'm, I'm an avid player of visual novels you know like uh, the evangelion visual novel like it has like some different roots and like you know like i want to check it up the story out as well and everything so like i'm really looking like i'm, I'm kind of going to like play that in my spare time so yeah like that's just something that i wanted you know like to inform you guys so yeah anyway so thank you guys for watching this was evangelion um 2.0 uh you are not alone so if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below your opinions about this movie or anything you want to say i'll definitely check them out so yeah guys uh thank you guys for watching again and i'll see you guys next week with the third part of this uh movie series so see you guys then until then goodbye and have a nice day